Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to our uh, Team Infinite Health and Happiness. It's been a while since we've all gotten together, and I really um, wanted to spend a little time with you tonight going over all of the exciting things that are ha happening and also share a little bit of information that I learned over the weekend about success and hopefully touch your lives and inspire you to um, move forward with your business and get busy. But first, let's do my favorite part and let's welcome our newest members. And since we haven't met in a while, I'm not sure exactly who the last person I welcomed was. So I'm gonna start with Galena. Galena's out of California, so welcome Galena. We're so happy to have you on our team. Um, Jackie Marino. Valerie Rory, which Valerie joined at the end of February, and guess what Valerie did today? She signed her first new ambassador, I'd like to welcome her, and her name is Terry Peltier, Peltier. and then also I'd like to welcome Kristen Beach. So thank you guys for joining our team, we're so excited to have you, and we're here to help you, guide you, coach you, mentor you, cry with you, laugh with you, whatever you need, we're here to help you. Just reach out to us. Um, we're pretty much available 24-7 because we want to see you succeed so bad. And we'll be doing a, a new ambassador training here in the next couple of weeks. We don't have it on the calendar yet, but I promise you I'll get it on the calendar. Um, so the first thing that I want to go over is the little contest that, um, that the main four leaders of this group are doing right now, and that is the bucket contest to get your name in the drawing. Y'all, it's so simple. Um, so all you need to do, here's, here's how you get your name in the drawing. Write your goals out. Put, post them on Facebook so that we can see it. Make sure you post it on Facebook. I don't care if you have goals, but you gotta, you gotta post them so we can see, okay? Um, get your header to personal volume by the 13th of the month. That's so easy. If you're using the products like you're supposed to, you can get that. Sign a new ambassador or sign a new customer. And y'all just need to let us know when you've taken care of any one of those things, we're gonna add you into the bucket. Now here's what's great about this contest. You have a higher chance of winning because four leaders have jumped in and said that they would do a $50 giveaway. And this will be in Plexus Credits. So if you're um, directly under me, you'll go in my bucket. If you're directly under Trila, you'll go in her bucket. If you're directly under Kristen Hodges, you'll go in hers. And Kristen Moreno, you'll go in her bucket. So you have a great chance of winning. Your odds are amazing. So get out there and do it. Let's, let's go crazy with March. Y'all, start planting those seeds. I'm telling you, people are going to start wanting to get our product. I mean, people are starting to message me because what's happening? It's getting close to summertime, and they're starting to think. They're starting to think, okay, I'm going to be in a swimsuit soon. So don't give up on this race, y'all. We've got a long way to go. I know you can do it, and this is an easy way to make an extra $50. Now, I want to turn it over to Trila because Trila's going to share with you some of the other exciting things that we are doing in the month of March. Trila? Thanks. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Did y'all see that calendar I did? And that's not even everything. Those are just the things that um, we are doing on this team. And that is still minus probably a couple of power hours and ambassador trainings and st um, stuff like that. So there's just a tremendous amount of opportunity for you to use to build your team and um, to build up your customer base. And what does that mean for you? Money, money in your pocket. So these, these activities, these events, we plan, we run, we host, so that you can make money, so that you can invite your people, so that you don't have to do um, all the work. The first is um, Thursday the 8th. What is Thursday the 8th? What do I have down Thursday the 8th? Oh, thank you. Um, I didn't write it down. Okay, the power hour. Terry's gonna host a power hour at 8 p.m. Um, Thursday night. If you've never done one of these, please do at least one. Just give it a try. It's amazing and it's fun. Um, all you do is set aside an hour and um, do what Terry tells you to do. It's like kind of like follow the leader. It's really simple. I think you'll love it. The next thing is the Saturday 
this Saturday at um, the 10th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We're going to try something a little different. This is going to be our online party. Normally, our online parties are just like 30 or 45 minutes, and they're fast and furious and just crazy. Well, what we're going to do is on Saturday, we're just going to slowly and calmly and um, hopefully um, make this very intriguing and interesting for our um, potentials and ha just have an online party. It is something that they can jump in on at any time during the day. If they don't have to start at nine o'clock and stay until 9 p.m., heaven forbid but they will want to check in a couple of times throughout the day. And there will be giveaways and um, videos, live videos and stuff. So um, I think this will be a fun thing. I think it'll be a really, really fun thing. And I know it's springtime and a lot of people are starting ball teams and meetings and games and all sorts of things. But that's why we decided to do it a lot, all day long because surely there's a, few minutes here and there throughout that day that they can jump on and just read um, some of the interesting posts. On March the 12th, on Monday, March the 12th, I changed the date uh, from Tuesday. I'm going to do the second part of the gut health uh, for dummies. The gut health for dummies part one was a very good success. I think people learned a lot of information. And so we're going to go on to part two. We will recap part one. So if you missed it, um, don't feel bad because we'll kind of do a real, real quick recap. We also can send it to you via email if you decide you want part one. Um, these classes, these um, gut, health, gut Health for Dummies is for everyone, especially ambassadors. Um, and well, everyone, but for our ambassadors, it's a great opportunity for you to learn a little bit more in depth about our products and what they do and give you a great way to share with other people. Invite everyone. It's no sales at all. Nothing um, is said about selling um, or buying. It's I, I talk about issues. I talk about ways to have a healthy gut to fight dysbiosis. Um, and then I recommend, I say the products that I recommend. And of course, those are Plexus products. But that's all I do. Okay? So it's not a salesy thing. Then um, on Monday, March the 19th through the 25th, we're going to do a seven day challenge. We're really excited about this and we really want to um, push this. We are going to talk about that seven day challenge on both the online party on Saturday the 10th and on the gut health for dummies. We're going to talk about the, um, the seven day challenge. It is really great, a great way to get people to start our products. They don't have to buy a seven day challenge. They can buy a triplex the whole month and just start with us. Um, and it's just a great way to get everybody started and to have a tremendous amount of support. So um, think about that as you're reaching out to people. A lot of times people will be more apt to try something if they know they've got a group that they're doing it with. So um, be careful, um, be mindful of that as you're sharing Plexus. And I think that's it besides some other little things that are on the calendar and corporate what had six different things that they came out with this month oh my gosh they are helping us so much too so no excuses awesome thanks trila and that is true about corporate um i was actually on a um call with them today and y'all they've got great ideas and they've got great leaders that are coming on and coaching us and helping us so if you could take your i know a lot of our team works so if you can take your lunch break during that time, maybe go find a conference room and just watch it on your phone. They're usually like 20 minutes or 30 minutes long and they're very, very informative. So if there's any way that you can fit that in your schedule, I'll highly suggest that you do. Okay, I wanted to talk about something I haven't really talked to y'all in a long time. And um, um, I, honestly, this was a, from 
this information that I've got is from a sermon from our church on Sunday. And I just was, I couldn't even write notes fast enough because I felt like what he was saying was really touching my heart and that I really felt like I needed to share it with you guys. And what he um, was talking about was successful people and what, what makes a person successful versus what makes them not successful. And um, you know, it's easy. It's easy to get in a ditch. It's easy to um, be in the pit with the lion on a snowy day. But you know, we've got to fight that. We've got to fight that every single day. And how do you do that? You do that by learning from successful people and imitating successful people and doing what they do. So what I wanted to kind of go through is some of the topics that he talked about and, and the differences between or what makes a successful person. And the first thing he talked about was we all have problems. Everybody has problems. There's nobody on this earth that doesn't have any problems. Um, you know, I know that y'all probably think I don't have too many problems and I'm blessed. I've, I've fought a long, hard time not to have problems. But let me tell you what he talked about. A lot of people with problems actually are living in a pattern and that pattern is what's keeping them from being successful so you got to look at your pattern and you kind of have to change your pattern and successful people recognize that there is a pattern and one of the things that they never do is they never return to what hasn't worked before so if it's not working, they stop doing it. They find something else that will work. And that's how um, Plexus has been evolving. You know, at first we had all the testimonials that we could post. We posted tons and tons of testimonials and that worked. That really, really worked. But what happened was it gave a false hope to people and um, we couldn't have that. So we had to change how we did that. But that's one of the things that we've got to constantly keep doing is finding new ways to make things work. Um, successful people um, learn that um, their mistakes are actually very valuable. That we all make mistakes. The difference between a successful person and a non-successful person is that the successful person will learn from that mistake and not go back there again. So if you're making mistakes, that's great because that means you're out there, you're trying, you're taking risks. And we all, uh, Trayla and I have made tons of mistakes in this business. We've learned a lot of things that work and don't work. Um, my mentor told the funniest story about how they came up with this huge plan that they were going to go to all of these senior living areas and they were going to sell to these um, people that lived in these senior living facilities and they put out a whole marketing plan. They spent a lot of time planning and air strategizing. And when they got in there, they realized that yes, those people will come listen to you, but they're not going to spend their money on that. They don't care about that. They don't care that much about their health anymore. They're, they're one other things. They want chocolate. They, you know, they want to, they want to go play bingo. They want to spend their money on those things. But, but the point was that it was an epic fail for them, but they had to learn. They had to try. So, um, the thing that successful people know is that there are no mistakes. There's only lessons. And what is the definition of insanity? doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the same results. So if you're not posting, you're not working your business, you're not talking to people, you're not sharing, then mm, odds are your business is not growing. So successful people don't do the same thing over and over again. Okay, um, this was really shocking. I had to listen to this. Um, successful people never believe that they can please everybody. Making somebody unhappy is part of this deal. You're going to have unhappy people. Um, people pleasing is a total waste of time. Um, it's not your job to make everybody happy. Um, I wanted to read you something. I want you to think about this. This is a little Aesop's, Aesop's fable. I'm going to take you back to yeah, when you were in elementary school. Okay. Re hope you remember this one. 
A man and his son were once going with their donkey to market. As they were walking along its side, a countryman passed them and said, You fools, what is a donkey for but what to ride upon? So the man put the boy on the donkey and they went on their way. But as soon as they passed a group of men, one of them said, See that lazy youngster, he lets his father walk while he rides. So the man ordered this boy to get off and he got on himself. But they hadn't gone far when they passed two women. One of whom said to the other, shame on that lazy lout to let his poor little son trudge along. Well, the man didn't know what to do, but at last he took his boy up before him on the donkey. By the time they had come to the town and the passers-by began to jeer and point at them, the man stopped and asked, what, are, what were they scoffing at? The men said, aren't you ashamed of yourself overloading that poor donkey of yours with your, you and your hawking son? The man and the boy got off and tried to think what to do. They thought and they thought, till at last they cut down a pole, tied the donkey's feet to it, and raised the pole and the donkey to their shoulders. They went along amid the laughter of all who met them till they came to, mark, to Market Bridge, when the donkey, getting one of his feet loose, kicked out, caused the boy to drop his end of the pole. In the struggle, the donkey fell over the bridge, and his four feet being tied together, he was drowned. This will teach you, said an old said the old man who said an old man who had followed them, please all, and you will please none. So successful people know that. So one of the things that they were talking about today on the call was don't go into any conversation with a um foregone conclusion of how the conversation is going to go. No emotion. Go into the conversation. Either they love it, they want it, they'll buy it, or they don't. Let it go. Just let it go. We're not here to please everybody. You cannot please everybody. People are going to complain, and you just have to graciously deal with it. Um, Successful people never let, never choose short-term comfort over long-term benefit. So um, there are a lot of people that will not give up watching TV. Um, they will not give up two hours out of their day because that's uncomfortable. They won't, uh, you know, they don't see the big picture. Successful people see the big picture. Successful people know that if you stay up and you're working your business and you answer somebody's message at 10 o'clock at night, there's probably three other people that didn't get that message. If you see, if you're working your business when everybody else is watching This Is Us or The Bachelor, you're the one that's going to see the comments on Facebook when somebody posted, I just got, I just got um, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And you're the one that's going to be able to reach out to them. So, successful people do not avoid the pain. You have the pain first, you have the payoff later. And sometimes that's hard, you know, and I mean, I'll be raw and honest. During Christmas, it was hard for me. I was struggling with committing to, to doing my job. And it, it bit me in the rear in January with my paycheck. So you've got to give it a little pain. You've got to suck it up a little bit. Um, you invest now to get your return later. And successful people learn new skills. You've got to be uncomfortable. Like um, I talked to a girl the other day that does, she has lots of MLMs. I don't know how she does it. But, and I don't think she does, does any of them successfully. And I had said to her, oh, have you read Talk Like Ted? I hate to read. I'm not going to read. And I thought to myself, well, that's why you keep joining all these MLMs, because you can't make one work, because you don't know how to lead. You don't know how to talk to people. So you've got to take a little bit of a, a pain with this, with this success. If you don't like to read, do an audible. Figure it out. Find a way. You've got to find a way. Watch videos. There's a million videos on, on YouTube that you can watch that will help you with success. Get over the pain. Okay? 
um, you know, we have a saying, put some Benadryl on it, move on. You've got it. You can do this. Um, successful people never fail to ask why they are where they are. And this one kind of hit me in the gut because I've been at the same rank for a while now. And I have to think, well, why am I here? Why am I still here? What am I not doing right? Well, I'm not changing and I have to change. I think, you know, I've lessened on how aggressive I am. I don't message 10 people a day. Um, I need to message 10 people a day. I have got to work harder on um, advancing with social media and I've been working on that. Um, but if you're not working on changing with the times, then you're going to lose out because we've got, we've got to make sure that we keep up with those young ones, you know, the younger people, because they've got paychecks too. And if we're not on their social media, we're missing a whole generation of people. So, um, am I making the same mistakes over and over again? I don't know. What do I need to do inside to change? What do I need to do to get myself to the next level? Well, that's something I need to spend some time thinking about. I know what I need to do. Um, now it's about applying it and I need to continue to learn, um, which I think I've done better in the past two months than I did in the six months prior to that. Um, I also want to ask you this. Are you a blamer or are you an excuse maker? Because if you are, um, then that's not going to help. You know, like really and truly. So let's say you're, uh, you work full time and you've got children and you know, um, the oven doesn't work. I mean, there's a million other things that are going on, but do you sit there and say to yourself, Oh, well, that's why I can't spend an hour working my business. I promise you there's always an hour or two you can squeeze into your day. You may have to do it in segments, but I promise you, you can do it. Um, if you make excuses or you blame somebody or something else, such as, you know, well, shipping is, is, shipping is doing horrible, so I can't make this work, or the computer, or whatever. If you've got excuses, um, then you're not going to be one of the successful people. Successful people say, okay, well, let's find a workaround. Let's figure it out. I'll help you out. I'll call customer service. We're going to make this work. So um, no excuses. You know how I feel about that. Then successful people never forget that their inner life determines the outer life. So uh, what's inside of you? The three, three factors of a successful person are going to be their temperament, their happiness, and their attitude. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a naturally happy person. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I wake up happy. I have a pretty even going temperament. Um, but the one thing that, that you have almost all control over is your attitude. And guess how much percentage of your attitude determines your success? 93% of your attitude determines your success. So if you sit down at your computer and you say to yourself, and you've got that song in your head, and we've talked about this multiple times before, I can't do this. Nobody's going to message me back. Um, I'm never going to make Ruby. I'm never going to make senior Ruby or gold or whatever. Um, if you sit down and you've got that in your head, nobody wants what I have. You're right. So, um, the thing that you can control is your attitude. And, and I honestly think you can tr control your happiness and your temperament too. Outside things do make you unhappy. Uh, I, I'm not going to deny that. And things make you mad. Things make you um, angry. You have a choice how you respond to those things. Um, and you have a choice to control your um, situation as much as possible. And, you know, God doesn't give everybody a perfect life. God doesn't give anybody a perfect life. And some of us have a whole lot more than the rest of us. 
you know, and some of us have gone through seasons where we were suffering. But the one thing that you can control is your attitude. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to post a video after, after this, and I want you to watch this. And it's about a young man who played sports. And he, um, he says one thing. He says, nothing can stop a determined person. So I just wanted y'all to think about some of those things today, tonight. Um, it really touched me that he spoke on this. And of course there was, you know, he had scripture and everything to go with it. Um, but it really made me think, you know, um, the Lord wants us to succeed. He wants us to, fl to, to flourish. He wants us to have the best, but we have to do the work. It's just not gonna, it's just not gonna drop in our lap, you know? And I think that people get confused about that. And you have to do it consistently because once you, once you get your momentum going and you lay off the gas, then your momentum backs off. And we've seen that happen. Trila and I have both been um, guilty of doing that. And guys, you can't really do that. You got to stay consistent. You got to keep the gas on there. So um, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. Tons of great things happening in March that can help you. We're here to help you. We, I'm telling you, we've got so many, so many options and things for you to do that will help you build your business that, um, you know, th there's just no excuse. <laughs> then, then. So uh, watch for the video. I want you to watch this video about this young man. And um, next time you sit down at your computer and you've got a woe is me, I want you to think, am I a successful person? And if you think you're not, change it. You control that. You control it. You control your destiny. Okay, everybody, if you have any questions or you need anything, as always, just reach out to us. We're here to help you. We would love to talk to you and do three-way calls and help you build your team. And as always, everybody, dream big. Thanks, everybody.